Hello YouTubers, I have an awesome surprise for you. I've made a uh, Arduino arcade game. Let me turn this on. So this is potentiometer. It controls this little triangle, my little battleship cruiser. And this here is to shoot. So I shoot with the switch and I move the ship with the potentiometer. And let me zoom in and explain how, the, how this game works. So initially you start off, you have to shoot three different squares so here they are there's one there's two there's a third one coming somewhere and after a while a circle comes out and the game speeds up a little bit so I have one two three squares and a circle and after another thousand loops in Arduino a triangle comes out and it's all random I have it set on a little random uh, function to where it randomly generates a number for each one and it throws it on a screen um, if you remember the screen is 128 uh, pixels across so I have a random number between 1 and 128 or I think maybe even 20 and it just randomly puts a box there and here let me show you the triangle triangles over here to the left it's right there and sorry the screen is a little hard to see it's refreshing so much, but it looks normal to me. Just the video camera is catching the little frequencies. And whenever one of these boxes reaches the bottom, it says game over and the counter restarts. The counter on the top counts how many things you have shot. I'll just let the square pass by and the game will be over. So I scored 70. Yep, game's over. So it's really, really awesome. Now let me show you how I coded all of this. Okay, so here's my code. Um, I named it video game version 1. So I have multiple versions of this. Um, so you'll need these four libraries here. Um, I have a few variables over here. So the A, I have lots of notes on here before I proceed. I have this code is full of notes as you can see I have notes here notes 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 so if you need if you want a copy of this code you're more than welcome to just let me know I'll message it to you but there's lots of notes here so if you want to modify it you'll know exactly what's going on where um, I'll scroll to the top right quick and just kind of go through this so I kind of pretty much made the code I use these libraries and but everything else is, took me about an hour to make everything else is pretty much made by me um, so this variable here is the speed at which um, objects fall from the top to the bottom. Then I have these x coordinates for each object. So I have five objects. I have three squares, and then x4 is a circle, and x5 is a triangle. If you remember, you have a circle and a triangle, and then I have a count variable. This is the falling speed. So I'll show you later what that is, and then. A full count is a it it counts to when release a circle and triangle and I have the hit variable it counts a score so every time you shoot something it keeps score in the in the hit variable uh, pin 8 is when where the switch is connected and in the setup I have these five um, five of the X coordinates and it picks a random number for them from 0 to one 120 so the court coordinate for the square square circle and a triangle so whenever you start the game over here um, the pixels are 0 over here and 120 128 is over here but because each object is about 8 pixels wide I only have them to 120 so just at the edge and it randomly picks a number and in a, that's where the objects will start on the x coordinates and the y coordinates on a loop over here um here it is so this is the count so every time there's a, a 40 is reached it adds one number it adds a one to the y coordinate of each one of these so whenever an an object is placed on the x coordinate and then their y coordinates is just keep adding one adding one adding one so they start at negative eight or negative six which is above the screen 
and then one is being added and they slowly, slowly, slowly fall. Um, as you can see here, so these are the y coordinates from, from the, for the squares. And there's an if statement here for the y coordinates for the circle and the triangle over here. So whenever full count is, is greater than a thousand, a circle will be released and its y coordinates will start increasing. And whenever the uh, full count reaches 2000, a triangle is released and uh, its y coordinates is increased too. And see this A25 and A30. So the bigger the A number, the slower the um, speed of the falling object. So here, when it, whenever a circle is released, it's 30. And then whenever a triangle is released, it's 25. So it's a little bit faster. And uh, originally the A is over here 40 so it's a little bit slower so it's slow and then it gets faster with 30 and then faster with 25 and then um so that, that that's that's that now whenever a button is pressed whenever low because i have a digital button whenever it's low it, it whenever you press it it becomes low so it, it triggers on low whenever a button is pressed if the if the switch is pressed if the my triangle let me move this over if my triangle the x coordinates is the, is the i of the triangle if the x coordinates are between if the x coordinates are between these two x coordinates it shoots down the, whichever block is there so this is what the if statement is so if the x coordinates is between that and that it shoots it down and it makes a new y coordinate of that block negative six, which is above here. So what it does is whenever you shoot a block, it just moves it up, it restarts it. And whenever it gets restarted, the it, it gets a new x coordinate. So whenever a block is coming down, like this block coming down right here, and I shoot it, it restarts it back to the top. So the y becomes reset to negative six. And then the x coordinate of it, it gets random, it picks a random x coordinate between 1 to 100, 120. So it might appear over here, might appear over here. So it randomly puts it back on and it starts going down again. And then I had to make these if statements for each one of the blocks. So if so, if um, this is the circle, square, square 2, and square 1. So if square 1 is hit, it throws the square 1 back up to negative 6 y coordinate, which is over here. And it randomly assigns it an x coordinate and it starts going down and then hit plus plus it just increases the score after you shoot an object so this is same code for each one of these so on each one hit increases hit increases hit increases hit increases and then for the x1 it picks a random variable for x2 x3 x4 x5 and then each one of these start at back at negative six. So it, re it resets the y variable also. So all that just moves them back up. Now for the rest of my code, this is where um, the text zero over here is displayed in this portion of the code. So, and it's stored in a hit variable. So it hit increases from zero to whatever, however big the number you want. And the text size is one, color is white, uh, cursor is zero, 00, remember zero zero is over here and it draws it right underneath. And then we're printing out the hit variable, which is there. Over here, so this are the actual squares to draw them. So this is the x variable. So whatever this variable is, uh, whatever that random number assigns it right here at random. So let's go to x1. So it randomly assigns a number for x1. And whatever the number is, be 5, 20, whatever, it gets stored in here. And then whenever y is um, given by the reset or just initial boot up, it stores it there. And then the width of the cube is eight um, pixels across and it's five pixels uh, high. And then it makes them white. So these are the three um, squares. Then on level two, whenever a thousand loops is reached over here, it becomes level two. You enter in level two, and whenever two thousand loops are reached, you enter level three, and a new speed is activated. And a new speed is activated there, and over here, on this bottom portion, whenever 
uh, level two is activated, here's the circle. So we're going to draw it on the coordinates as given by my code and then a radius of four in color white. And then whenever level three is activated, a triangle is displayed. So these are the coordinates of a triangle. So I have x1, y1, x2, y2, x3, y3, and then the color white. And these are the coordinates. Um, the x and then x minus three for this one. So x1 and y1 are the top one. x minus three and y minus three is this one on the bottom here, bottom left, and x five plus three, and an x, I mean y minus three, there's these right here. And it's actually opposite because it's falling from the top. And then um, over here, fill triangle, this is to display my ship. So sorry, I did it backwards. So this right here is my ship, which is the bottom one. So I, over here and then 25 is stable there's no need for a variable because it's just on, on one line it's not going up and down and just going side to side and um, these are the other um, coordinates for it now this thing right here display display so all this does it it throws up everything any every time you see a display 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 it throws up the display so all these display functions are, are thrown up whenever this is called. So if you don't put this, this will not go up on a screen. And it delays a little bit, and then it adds one to the full count and adds one to the count. So this is what activates the Y variables to go down. And so here's the game over function. Sorry, I'm kind of skipping through this. Uh, here's the game over function. Whenever you go on top, game over right here is called. Game over happens whenever each one of these blocks reaches uh, 32. So over here, if if this block of y y1 reaches 32, or whichever block reaches 32, if any of the five blocks reach uh, y of 32, it displays this um, black screen. So this here right here is display fill rectangle 00 to 128 by 32 black so it fills the rectangle size of the screen and it makes it black it waits half a second then with text size of 2 it says game over waits half a second then it fills the rectangle black again and then waits half a second and then does game over and then waits half a second all black waits half a second and does game over and then waits just a little bit and it resets the Y variables of all of the five objects and resets the hit, which is the score, and it resets the speed, which is the full count. Because if it doesn't re reset the speed, the full count, it will be uh, 2,000 and the triangles and square and circles will fall. But we don't want it to fall yet. We want it to count to it. And that's it. That's all of the code. Here, I'll just go to the top and scroll slowly through this if you want to copy it or message me and um, I'll send it to you. If you need to pause the screen, do that. But this is awesome. I hope you make something like this or if you have any ideas, I can just comment and I'll try to maybe make it or get inspired from your comment and make something else. But this was um, surprisingly easy. I don't know if I made it complicated or not, but I hope... It makes sense to you I'll just slowly scroll through this so you get the rest of it and um, yeah like subscribe likes really do help to promote video if you like a video make sure to hit like so it gets promoted and more people see it alrighty well hope you enjoyed it we're almost to the bottom I'm just scrolling through this All right, and I think that's it. There we are.